We're going to do the Jesus is Lord song, which is mostly vocables, and we'll do it all the way through twice. Um, once with just the vocables, and then once with starting with the Jesus is Lord song. So we can start off here. Okay. <laughs> guys all see that uh i found the the daybreak warrior guy doing all the coronavirus uh things in napa oh. so i posted it on the good medicine way right. <laughs> so anyway but lee and i are together no matter what so if she's coughing with coronavirus you know this means i'll have to stay home from work <laughs> i got i got the singing loud virus yeah I yeah i saw that too and i liked it oh. and i also sent it to my mom what was that I said I saw it too, and I liked it, so then I oh, sent it to my mom. Nice, very cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go with Save Your Chief. Oh yeah, there we go. Here we go.
is that going to be it for the songs? You guys might do one more song. We could do We Are One if you guys want to, or we can move on, whatever you guys think. Let's actually do one more song. Yeah, right now. Let's do one more. Okay, right. we'll do the We Are One song. Jonathan Miracle in my mind was like way up there in my ring. All right. <laughs> I think All that's right. good for the song. Preston, do you have any offering or announcements, news? 
just a just your basic offering. Uh, we're gonna probably have Heather keep on having the offering for PayPal on the page. Um, so I started the garden last week. And so we were there today, did a little fire in the fire pit. So we have some things started right now. Yeah, maybe we could, um, you could maybe like do a, a blessing over the garden and film it and then we can post it on the Facebook site or even show it like next week or something like that. Yeah. Just so everybody knows what's going on with the garden that we're doing. Um, do you want to explain what your idea is behind that? Because I think a lot of people on the group don't mm -hmm. know what the garden is about or anything. So... So recently, we were able to have permission to start gardening behind United Methodist and be able to have a garden. So in two, there's four beds, and they, I'm assuming they're about five by five feet. And uh, for each each bed, two of them, I'm going to have a sister, three sisters. So that means corn, squash, and beans. And then the other two... I'm planning to have some type of melons and then the other ones is going to be herbs and lettuce and some chilies. Cool. Very nice. Why not? And hopefully everything will be ripe right at the end of the pandemic and we can have like a big party to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. That's exact, that is exactly what I'm hoping and hoping that we can share the harvest and be able to share the crops with everyone and even with uh, people around the community. Right. Very cool. <clears throat> what you got to read for us this week, Heather? Okay, and I'm gonna have to duck out to get ready for work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna slip out now so it doesn't cause a commission later. All righty. <laughs> but have I'll be listening. <laughs> have a good one. <clears throat> yeah, we're in um, Acts. Chapter 15 in the uh, First Nations Bible version. And I left a link on the, well, on one of the Facebook posts that I can keep sharing it. Um, so, yeah, so if you have it handy or on your app, you can go to Acts 15. While small men, Paul, and son of comfort, Barnabas, were in stands against Antioch, some men came down from the land of promise, Judea, and began to teach the followers there. They said, unless you have participated in the traditional cutting of the flesh ceremony, given by drawn from the water, Moses, you cannot be set free and made whole. But small men, Paul, and son of comfort, Barnabas, did not agree with them and had a strong argument with them. It was decided that small man, Paul, and son of comfort, Barnabas, along with a few others, would go to the message bearers and elders at Village of Peace to settle this among them. So having been sent on their way by the sacred family, they traveled through land of palm trees, Venetia, and high place, Samaria. As they traveled, they told how the outside nations had come to faith. This made the hearts of all the followers glad. When they came to Village of Peace, Jerusalem, the message bearers, elders, and the sacred family welcomed them. So they told them the stories of all that the great spirit had done through them. But some of the sacred family members were, who belonged to the band of separated ones, Pharisees, stood up among them to make their voice heard. The outside nations that the separated ones, Pharisees, must participate in the cutting of the flesh ceremony and be required to follow our tribal law given by drawn from the water Moses. The message bearers and elders sat in council together to discuss this matter. After much talk and debate, stands on the rock, Peter stood up among them. My fellow members of the sacred family, he said to all, you know that a good while ago, creator chose me to be the one to help the outside nations come to faith 
by telling them the good story. The knower of hearts made this clear when he gave them the Holy Spirit in the same manner as he did for us. The great spirit made no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts when they trusted in him. So why put creator to the test by putting a burden on their shoulders that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to carry? So then, stands on the rock, Peter finished. We believe it is because of the great kindness of creator sets free, Jesus, the chosen one, that we will be set free and made whole. It is the same for us and them. Silence fell upon all who had gathered there as they listened to son of comfort Barnabas and small men, Paul, tell them about the wondrous and powerful signs the great spirit had done through them when they were with the outside nations. When they were finished speaking, he takes over. James stood up and spoke to the gathering. My fellow tribal members, hear what I have to say. One who hears, Simon, has spoken well to remind us of how the great spirit first showed to us his concern for the outside nations by choosing from among them those who would represent him. This agrees with the words of the prophets from long ago. It is written in the sacred teachings. At that time, I will return and repair the sacred tent of much loved one, David, that has fallen to the ground. I will raise it up from its tattered ruins and mend its tears so that the rest of mankind may search for the great spirit. All the outside nations who have also been chosen to represent me. This is what Creator is saying, for he made those things known long ago. So as I see it, we should not put stones in the path of the ones in these outside nations who are turning to the Great Spirit. Here is the message we should send to them, that they should stay away from the things offered to evil spirits, from sexual impurity, from the meat of a strangled animal, and from drinking blood. For... For from ancient times, the ways of drawn from the water, Moses, have been taught in every village, and his words were read out, are read out loud in the tribal gathering houses on every day of resting. Then the message bearers, the elders, and all of the sacred family agreed that it was a good thing to choose some men, along with small man Paul and son of comfort Barnabas, to take a message to stands against Antioch. They chose speaks well of Judas, who is also called son of resting, Barsabbas, and woodsmen, Silas, spiritual leaders among the sacred family. Here is the message they sent in a letter. Greetings from the message bearers and elders of the sacred family to our brothers and sisters who are from the outside nations in the villages of Stand Against, Antioch, Bright Sun, Syria, and turns over Sicilia. We heard that some of our people came to you and even though we did not send them, and they said things that troubled and confused you, we all agreed it would be good to send some men to re represent us, along with our much-loved son of comfort, Barnabas, and small man, Paul. These are men who have risked their lives representing Creator sets free, Jesus, the chosen one and our honored chief. So we sent speaks well of Judas and woodsman Silas to tell you the same things we have written. So then, it is a good, it seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to place on you no burden other than those necessary things, that you stay away from things offered to evil spirits, from drinking blood, from the meat of strangled animals, and from sexual impurity. If you stay away from these things, you'll be walking in a good way, safe journeys to you. So they sent the messengers to stand against. Antioch, when they gathered everyone together and read the message, their hearts were encouraged and made glad. Speaks well of Judas and woodsman Silas, who were also prophets, lifted their spirits and made their hearts strong with many words. After some time, there they sent the messengers back with the blessing of peace upon those who had sent them. But small man Paul, and son of comfort, Barnabas, remained and stands against Antioch. There, along with many others, they taught the message of the good story about the honored one. After they had stayed there for a while, small man said to son of comfort, Barnabas, come with me and we will visit the sacred family in every village where we taught creator's message and see how well they are doing. Now son of comfort wanted, he shows goodwill John, who is also named war club Mark to go with him. But small man, Paul did not think it wise for he had deserted them in the territory of many tribes, Pophilia, and did not complete the work. 
their argument became so strong that they split apart and went their separate ways. Son of Comfort, Barnabas took war club, Mark, and set out in a canoe for an island of flowers, Cyprus. But small men, Paul, chose woodsmen, Silas. So they were given creator's blessing by the sacred family and set out, traveling through bright sun, Syria, and turns over to Cecilia. There they gave strength to the sacred family gatherings in that territory. That's Acts 15. All right, got a box of portals here, so I'm gonna roll, see which card we use first of all. And then which number on the card? All right, how does this give you courage? Is the portal for today. So from that chapter, Let's see, I guess we can just go down in the order that I see on my screen that makes makes it start with me. So as far as anything about courage, <clears throat> this was the bit where, um, yeah, the whole chapter is about not placing unnecessary burdens on people. So um, yeah, in one sense, it, it took courage, I think, to speak out against the, you know, the, the Jewish people were so used to no, 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 converts have to, you know, come in, be circumcised, do all this stuff, and then they can follow Jesus because he's our Messiah. But, but you know, what, what Jesus taught, you know, he wanted to make it clear that they don't have to have that first. Um, yeah, and it took courage to, to speak out and, and make that clear and not just cave in to uh, what, the, what these different um, synagogues were wanting to do. So it looks like Heather's next. Did you have anything about courage uh, that struck you in that chapter, Heather? I think there was a lot of encouragement to see that um, the people understood that the outside nations didn't have to do the things that they um, wanted them to do as uh, Jewish people, and that they knew that they um, have a different culture. I and mean, the things that they told them to encourage them was actually a really good thing for them to do because. Um, I think they, me personally, I believe that they didn't see the signs or the things that they wanted to see by praying to whatever, um, gods they had at the time. Um, and so, yeah, I like that. And I like that, um, when there's conflict within the sacred family, like they, they worked it out. They didn't necessarily say, okay, um, we have conflict. We're going to avoid each other. We're going to avoid, avoid it and not talk about it. But in here, they're like, no, we need to talk about it. Um, and we need to understand why, we're, why we need to talk about it and where we're going to go from there. So that's what I found encouraging from today. All right. And any people who are uh, watching in on, on Facebook, feel free to type your comments and I can't actually see them, but I'm assume, assuming that Miriam or Preston, Heather, Casey, some of you can say them and, and read them if people post comments, if you like. Um, can, can any of you see the uh, Facebook page as we're doing this? Like if people would type a comment? Or are you guys only looking at the Zoom? I can see the Facebook page. Great, all right, yeah, let us know if there's anything. Okay, Miriam, it looks like you're next on my little uh, lineup. Hello, can you hear me? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, this is new to me, doing it on the phone. Um, the only thing I can think of is that the, the, there was a lot of courage shown in, in different ways, as you already mentioned, both you and um, Heather. Um, 
I think the, the, the greatest courage was to um, go against 2,000 years of tradition and, um, and, and great, uh, um, uh, you know, um, denial by the, um, the Hebrew uh, or the Jewish uh, elders. Um, they could have been stoned. They could have been killed for going against some of the mosaic laws like uh, circumcision and eating of kosher, non-kosher animals. So that they decided to break completely with those traditions, even at the point of maybe dying for, you know, that situation. Uh, if the elders found out, then, you know, they, you know, that shows how much they believed in Jesus. It shows how much they, they believed that his way was right, even over and against the teachings they were, um, they had all their lives, you know, from their own parents and elders. So that's the, that's what uh, struck me the most that uh, they were able to do that. That's all. All right. <clears throat> Preston, did you want to make a comment? Um, no one has posted anything yet. So, but my idea um, of this is I was reading along from the NIV version and where they talk about going to the other villages, they talk, the NIV talks about um, strengthening other churches. So that kind of gives me courage that the idea that uh, people going out and strengthening us and we can go out and continue strengthening others, even if we're here are being live on Facebook and being able to reach other people within their own homes and reach them exactly where they're at because so they need people like us and, and be able to listen to and have that encouragement and be able to have that faith within their own lives, especially when times like this are very, very hard and people are going probably a little stir crazy and, and a little cabin fever at the moment for having to stay home all the time. But it gives them courage to continue doing God's work and continue doing God's and be able to do the things that they need to do at home for for the Lord. Very good. Brian, did you want to raise your hand? No. Or Casey, are you still there? <clears throat> your, your square just says Jen on it. Not sure what happened to you, Casey. But anyway. That How about now? Can you see me? Yep. There you are. There you are. All right. Yeah, I've been on. Can you hear me? Yep. yep. All right. Yeah, well, I, I really love this, this whole chapter because it really uh, has been key to the ministry of contextual ministry that for so long that we've been having to worship in, in a different way that was unnatural for us to, to worship. And then when the uh, apostles started going out and reaching, they didn't tell them they had to change. They let them worship naturally. And then it says that <clears throat> God knows the hearts of them and he even accepts them by giving them the Holy Spirit. They didn't have to do worship in a certain way to get the Holy Spirit. There was nothing involved there to, to do it. So when I read this, the Holy Spirit gave guidance to James. And uh, I don't know if it was a close vote or not, but, but uh, the Holy Spirit won out in that debate and said that we should not make it uh, difficult for anyone to come to faith. We should just Gentiles, anybody that wasn't Jewish, that means anybody in the whole world that wasn't Jewish can now come to faith without having to follow the rules and rituals of the Jewish people that they had set as part of their traditions of faith and that they could come to faith uh, on different grounds with different methods 
in songs and prayers and different different ways of worshiping. So I, I love this chapter. I've studied it over and over, and I use it when I speak and teach. That's all. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything about courage in there? Or? No, I mean, well, like Casey said microphone. anything that I would probably say already, so I'll defer to his experience and wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm. Preston, what kind of a prayer time do you think would be good? Um, did, does Brian have time to do a flute song? Yeah, I got about 10 minutes or so before I got to go. Uh, why don't you do a little flute and then we can do a prayer after that. This is like a way for a worship and like Casey said, it's new but different for many people, but still it allows us to know that we're worshiping the Lord and, and in a different way. And it's still the way we like to worship. And the idea that he is here with us and we can hear him through different ideas and techniques. Dearly Father, dear Creator, Maker of all, you vibrate the winds to allow us to hear you in a different way. You vibrate our bodies so that we can feel you through the heat. You vibrate the light so we can see you through different colors like sunsets and the rising sun and be able to be with us in every moment. We love you. We invite you in all of our homes. We invite you in everywhere that we are. We, you're keeping us safe and we trust you and we love that you, we can trust you. You are so gracious and so mighty. There are so many things that we can't understand about you, but we are so grateful that we can understand the things that we do. Keep us in together, allow us to continually walk in your faith, and hopefully we can continue go back to our old dinner and be able to have break bread again in person. Be able to have that bread with you and also continually reaching out to others online and reaching out to others here around Albuquerque. I say this in all your great name and prayers, and you know the prayers of our hearts. In your good name we pray. Amen.
want to call you River of Life. How's that sound if we do River of Life for the, the closer? That'd be okay. okay. All right, I think that brings today's Good Medicine Way gathering to a close. Thank you all for joining. Thank you, and good job, everybody. All right, all right. we'll see you all next week at the same virtual time. We get more sophisticated every week, so we'll <laughs> see That's how it goes. Two word glitches. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye over there. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay.